right, Zach again at NewTutorial.com. I want to come in and do a video for you today. We are uh, really exploring some things. I'm, I'm going to, here's the deal. I'm going to have, I think we're going to have Brad Scott on the channel here coming up soon. And uh, we're going to talk about CERN. And if you don't know what CERN is, it's a town over in Switzerland. And they're building this, what's called the Large Hadron Collider. And I have heard Brad mention this in his talks a number of times and uh, just talk about, you know, the craziness of it. And I wanted to get him on the channel to maybe just, let's just talk about things going on this fall. I did a video the other day talking about, you know, prophecy this fall and judgment coming and just all kinds of crazy stuff that's in the works right now. And, um, you know, it was based on this PDF that I had shared uh, on Facebook and on my YouTube channel. And so I'm getting a lot of feedback on that. And people are looking at this stuff and going, wow, this is really crazy. You know, the, looking at the things going on around us, looking at the financial situation of the nations around us, looking at uh, the wars and rumors of wars and the earthquakes and some of the stuff. And, it's, and really, here's the deal, folks. None of what you're seeing right now is in Scripture yet. I don't see it. OK, uh, because it says, you know, when the last days are here, this such and such bang, bang, bang is going to happen. But with the chaos and the lawlessness and the iniquity that we are seeing right now is on an unprecedented scale. Well, I wouldn't say unprecedented. Sodom and Gomorrah probably had it right. But I mean, we are I mean, like it's like off the charts right now. How could this not be the last days? How could this not be the time? And I've given you lots of evidence in my videos in the past, you know, talking about the greater exodus even. Of, of what to look for in the last days. People will travel to and fro and knowledge will increase. This is it right now. We're seeing it right here. And so, um, you know, people are asking the question, what's next? You know, what are we looking for? What's, well, CERN, the Large Hadron Collider. We just watched a video at our fellowship on this. It was a half hour video put together by some Christian ministry, I think. And it talked about some of the symbolism inside this large Hadron Collider going on over at CERN. And it gives a scientist who is there working on the project. There's a number of scientists, over, you know, thousands of scientists. Some of them, I think, you know, a, a handful of them, five or six of them being Nobel Prize winning scientists who are leading teams on building this thing, leading all nations on building this large Hadron Collider. And it's a 27 mile loop. A 27-mile tunnel that they're going to shoot protons around this tunnel to collide with one another. And some people are outright telling telling others that this could be the end of the universe. I don't think it's going to be the end of the universe, but you know it may open up. And some some scientists have have even said some. These are not Christian scientists; these are secular scientists. That what we may be doing may be opening up some sort of gateway, and we may not ought to do it. We, we may, may not, we should maybe rethink what we're doing. A gateway to what? Could it be the gateway to the abyss? I truly believe that the, the abyss is at uh, Mount Hermon, uh, where uh, we believe, or many believe, that uh, a lot of um, uh, angels are imprisoned at. And that's where the transfiguration happened, we read about in the New Testament. Uh, so that's a whole other story we go down to anyway. But I'm, here's the deal. The Large Hadron Collider. What is going on here? Should we should we as humanity be building something like this so powerful? And if you look at the pictures, you do the research on this thing at CERN, you will see just how powerful and amazing this is and just the collaboration that's gone into building it. And then all of the pagan symbolism that they are using are surrounding this thing. Uh, it's very, it's it's very compelling, very interesting, and you'll find lots of information on YouTube. I I would urge you just to, you know, get yourself up to speed on what's going on. Go out to YouTube, find some stuff on CERN, read about it, see some of the uh, the, the biblical perspectives being put out there on it. People who can see and read between the lines with what they're doing out there and how it relates back to biblical prophecy. I think you'll be very very much interested. Very much interested. And so anyway, our fellowship watched a video on it. I'll post the link of the video we watched below in the description of this video on YouTube. And you can watch it if you want. Um, again, and I think we're going to have, I've already been talking to Brad Scott. I think we're going to have him on Monday, this coming Monday. I don't know. We're still trying to work out some details, technical details on the Google Hangouts, which, which is what we use to record the videos on. Um, but I think we're going to try to get together and have him on the channel and just pick his brain on what he thinks this all is. Let's talk about the last days a little bit, see, get his perspective, and just, you know, let's kick some things around. People are interested right now. Sukkot's coming up. Um, you know, the feast days, the fall feasts are coming up, the fall appointed times are coming up, and this is, this is a special time for, uh, for God's people. And, but we also see things building in the world as we approach uh, these fall feasts and fall appointed times. So 
What does it all mean? I don't know. We're going to keep paying attention. All right, we'll leave it at that. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks. <laughs>